expiration kicks off this week at our Sundown Lithium Project located in the prolific James Bay Lithium Province. Historically, Kazali's always been very good at project acquisition and generation, so generate a lot of our own projects to add to the portfolio. And we also like to be ahead of the curve if we can, so looking to um, predict what's going to happen in the next 12 to 18 months, which is sometimes challenging, but we do like to position ourselves in the commodity space. We're quite a diversified company, so um, we explore across a number of commodities and like to be at the forefront. In August, we had a team out at the Carb Lake Rare Earth Project, so they did a lot of scouting, a lot of um, surface exploration. We collected a number of samples. It's just float, but it is carbonatite. Uh, so that's in the lab at the moment, and we're expecting those results to come back any day. We've also got our Sundown Lithium Project. That's in the prolific James Bay Lithium Province. We do have a team on the ground there at the moment. They've actually just landed this week. So very exciting times. Uh, we will sample as much as the property as we can. It's heli supported work as well. Uh, so therefore weather dependent. Um, however, we'll collect as much as we possibly can, as many pegmatite samples, get that into the lab and hopefully see results in the next six weeks. Our plans for Sundown Lithium are to obviously sample as much as we possibly can to define drill targets. Once we can do that, then we intend to get on the ground and drill those targets, obviously. Uh, we are also anticipating the grant of the Abenab North project, so that's prospective for rare earth and base metals. Assuming the grant will come in before the end of the year, we plan to be moving on that one fairly quickly as well. That'll just be geophysics and then drill testing. <laughs>